At the Christ Church in New Malden, Tim Farron joined Sarah Olney for a Q&A ahead of next week's crucial by-election. I spoke with a candidate about the events, campaign tactics and media scrutiny. What was the purpose of tonight? So tonight we, we do, we've been doing a couple of town hall meetings. We did one tonight, we did one last night. Um, lots of people, voters on the doorstep have been saying, you know, I'm obviously a newbie to politics. They haven't seen me, they haven't heard from me and they wanted an opportunity to come along and hear what I had to say and to answer their questions. So we've set up a couple of public meetings to give people an opportunity to see me. How do you think it went tonight? What is your overall impression from uh, the conversations you've had? It went really well. Um, what I find all over the constituency is that people are really, really engaged in politics. They've got some challenging questions that they want answering and it's been a brilliant forum to answer those questions and, you know, it's obviously challenging for me but it's been really, really rewarding. So the latest poll has put you at about eight points behind Zach Goldsmith. How confident are you of closing the gap in the final week? Uh, it's going to be tough. Um, I think the result is going to be very, very close. Um, we've got loads of people out on the doorsteps for us this weekend and we'll have loads of help over the following week. So it all depends really on how many people can come out and help us in these last few days and how many voters we get out on Thursday. Your opponent uh, has criticised your campaigning tactics as being annoying, in quotes, <laughs> um, with one resident uh, allegedly saying that they had received 24 pieces of campaign literature. <laughs> Why are you annoying people? <laughs> well, if Zach Goldsmith thinks I'm annoying, then I'm not too worried. <laughs> He's meant to find me annoying. <laughs> We've obviously sent out lots of campaign literature. I mean, people don't know me as well as they know Zach, so we've been sending out lots of things so that they get a good opportunity to see my face and hear what I'm about. Groups like the Sun and Guido Corps have taken uh, quite an interest in you lately. Uh, how much of an impact has the negative press attention had on your campaign? It's not really had that much of an impact at all, really. I mean, in, uh, some people find it quite encouraging that uh, they think I'm worth attacking because they think that says, good, you know, actually suggests that our campaign is having an impact on Zach Goldsmith and that, that's why they're, they're hitting back. Has the uh, intense scrutiny been a bit of a surprise to you? Um, I was surprised that they wanted to go after my husband. I didn't think that was warranted, particularly he's not standing for Parliament, so I didn't see why they had to do that. But uh, we always knew it would be a high-profile by-election, so the, the press attention comes with it. Finally, if you were to summarise the campaign in one word, what would it be? Uh, intense. <laughs> okay, Sarah Olney, thank you very much. Thank you.